Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ellie Michelle, a Los Angeles makeup artist. And today we are going to be going through the things that I use for darker skin tones. We're going to be working out today. This is just one of my kits. And just some of the things that I like to use. Um, it's going to be clearly not everything, but the things that I thought were that were of importance. So whether you're choosing foundations, whether you're choosing also undertones as well, you want to pay attention to the certain undertones that are under darker skin tones. Either they're more red or they're more yellow, and that makes a uh, drastic difference when you're choosing your skin tone color. We're gonna go over color correction today as well. Um, some blushes, some lipsticks, and um, some shadows that I believe are great, great options, and um, very diverse. So let's go ahead and start first off with uh, color correction. A lot of times um, there, there are a lot of color corrections. Not a lot, but there, you do need to even out darker skin tone uh, sometimes more just due to hyperpigmentation or pigmentation in general. Some of my favorites that I like to use are the Makeup Forever HD R50 and this is Y51. So I'm going to go a little closer so you can see what that looks like. Okay. So as you can see, this one's like a little light orange. I'm actually going to kind of turn this. The Y51 is a little darker. So you're going to use the lighter one, of course, when you have a lighter skin tone. We're talking about um, in, of Indian complexion, um, and this is more so for darker skin tones, African American. Um, it also depends, and you can use this one also for African American. It just depends, again, on the color of your client. So you want to really make sure that you are paying attention to that. Um, I use a lot of oranges, not necessarily yellow bases when it comes to color correcting on darker skin tone. And today we're just going to be uh, looking over uh, products, not necessarily doing any hands-on techniques, which if you guys want to see a video like that, just please allow me, like let me know. So let's go ahead and go on to concealers, the ones that I typically use. So you guys, uh, for darker skin tones, typically I choose to do more yellow undertones, so orange with the corrector and yellow undertones when it comes to concealers. Um, I don't, I truly try to stay away from red undertones because I feel like it makes them ashy or um, it, it actually uh, oxidizes a little bit too dark on the skin. Okay, so my favorites right now are NARS. I have them all labeled as you guys can see. The Radiant Creamy Concealer. So the first one I like to use. This is Medium Dark 3 Amande. This is amazing for um, if you have a client that has like a, a tan, a nice tan. Um, it's just a little on the darker side. Not necessarily um, my skin tone, but maybe two or three shades lighter. This is great. Anything with a yellow, more so undertone is going to look amazing. I love this color. The next color we're going to have is... Let me see. Alright, let's go ahead and do Dark uh, Zero. This is Choco Latte. So Choco Latte is about... Hmm... I want to say it's about, it's about a shade darker. Hopefully you guys can see, yeah, you can see that. And you see that it's a shade darker where the undertone's also different here. It's a little bit more neutral, I feel like. This one's a little bit more yellowish, okay? So this one is called Chocolate. It's a great, great color. Um, sometimes I'll mix my concealers as well together just to get that perfect finish. I, I love doing that. Go to dark number one, dark one, and this is Cafe. So this is more so something that I would use, um... Probably a, 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 not my skin tone, but maybe a skin tone a little bit, just a shade darker. And then we have Dark 3, which is coffee. Now, I love this tone. I love this tone because this is really going to look amazing on your very deep shaded uh, women, very deep deep pigmented women because what it has is it it doesn't necessarily have more um, yellow I think it has more red and more neutral it's more it's kind of red and more neutral but this is going to give a very nice finish um, to the skin it's going to brighten it up but it's going to make it look neutral oh it's going to just melt in the skin so these are my top four picks for that okay let's go ahead and go on to foundations what I what just what I have in my kit or what I've been using for darker skin tones when it comes to matching shades when it comes to darker skin tones so a lot of times what I see the issue is with matching darker skin tones either people match uh, women too dark or men men and women too dark or too light okay and and the client has um 
the client has a way of looking ashy and that's because the undertone is incorrect under my neck and usually what I do is I match according to the neck I don't match according to the face because I mean it's just it's your neck so it's like when you take that foundation down you want it to be seamless right so go ahead and start with um, Giorgio Armani this is power fabric this is a great 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 foundation so I would say this is about a medium to full coverage. Um, it's it's long wear. It has a very satin finish to it, a very creamy, nice finish. So I like to use that. I have um, 12. This is a beautiful color. I have um, 14. And I have 14.5. And I typically will just play with these and I'll mix them together. Um, and if I need like a, a yellow boost, I will boost it up if I need it to be a little lighter. Funny. And then I also have uh, Macchia or Macchio, Macchio with Sheer Glow, which is NARS. I love this one, especially when your client doesn't need that much coverage. It's It works like a dream. Now, for like weddings, you want to do more co full coverage. So I would definitely recommend a more full coverage foundation. So the Giorgio Armani would be great. Um, but this one's more so great for, uh, let's say... Um, a more natural look, a more dewy look, a more golden look, or a photo shoot would be great, something like that. These are the Beauty Blender foundations, and I really, really like the undertones that it comes with. As you can see, this one's more yellow, this one's more red. I really pay attention to the undertones when I'm paying attention and looking at foundations. You guys want to make sure that the brand offers... Um, undertones with red red undertones and with yellow and you want to make sure when you're looking at your client what is appearing more do they look more red or do they look more yellow and if you get it wrong let's say you do uh, swatch on their uh, their face and it's a little darker or it's darker than their neck you want to just go up in color you know what I'm saying you guys got this it's it's it takes practice but it, it also takes training your eye to see undertones as you guys can see I deep potted a lot of my concealers, my my um, highlighters, and my contours. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use for my dark, but my dark girls. Okay, so I use KKW Dark Deep. Okay, this is her contour stick. It is amazing. Her contour stick is it is fire. I also use Fenty Espresso. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys these colors as well. So this is going to be the KKW Beauty. This is such a beautiful, rich color. And this one is going to be that Fenty Espresso. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color, y'all. You know, complexion. So it goes, I like my range to be amazing. Like I want my range to be the darkest. I want even darker than that, you guys. Guys, want to make sure, don't be afraid to get the darkest of the darkest. Because let me tell you something. Honey, like you need all the colors, as many colors as you're able to grab. And as you guys can see, these all have different undertones. This has a more of a red undertone, more yellow, more yellow. These are more neutral, okay? And so when I'm going in with a client, I'm really paying attention to also what areas am I seeing, like what's coming out, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times I do mix my foundations. That's okay for you guys to do. Makeup is makeup. You can't go wrong, right? So let's go ahead and go on to powders. Love powders. So my favorite powder or one of my favorite powders is Ben Nye. Ben Nye has amazing, amazing powder. The reason I say Ben Nye has amazing powder is because first off, the banana powder, we all know about that, but it goes on very velvet, like, like and smooth. And so when I'm baking with it and I sweep it away, it looks just like airbrushed. Okay, and so the other powder I use, this one's like a really pretty, like, brown, but it's like a nice, warm, coconut, kind of like nutty, feel and color to it and this one's R520 from Makeup Forever one of my favorites I love this one and this one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills I actually use this as a bronzer but also as a finishing powder but I love it as a bronzer it's so beautiful and this one is a powdered bronzer you know what I'm saying and that's what we all want and so I have a Dolce Luxury Powder and then I have Camel now they look very similar in color as you can see, this one's lighter, this one's darker. But you want to make sure, just because two colors look similar does not mean that they are the same. They're usually different in some sort. So you want to make sure that in your kit, you do have different undertones. Because again, it goes back to, your client can start looking ashy if you don't have the correct um, powders, right? The next one I have is Danessa Myricks. It is 4.5. This is great for highlighting, and it's great for all around the face. 
and I also have this powder which is beautiful so it's more of a darker powder this is shape tape press powder in mahogany and those are typically what I use for my powders I honestly get away with most things with these powders um, and then I have I don't know our highlighters just a few again you guys this isn't my full kit this is just an example of what you guys can start you know really need to have in your kit so this is a highlighter this is topaz it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It's from Becca Cosmetics. I love this highlighter. It's very versatile. It works with most skin tones. I do plan to get more highlighters um, from Becca Cosmetics because they have great ones that I saw as well. This is also in light aura of attraction. So I love this because it kind of has, and this is just Danessa Myricks. You see how beautiful that is? Like, literally, you guys, there's so much you can do with a few products. You'd be surprised. So typically what I'll do with this is sometimes, like, if you want to wet it, you're able to wet it. If you don't want to wet it, you don't have to do that. But I'll, like, brush it over the body, everything like that. So this is what this looks like. What? Now, I usually just put this all over the body. If I'm going to do it, I just put it all over the body. Like, let's say wedding or if she's going out or he's going out, whatever, I'll put it all over the body. Let's go on to blushes. I'm super excited to do blushes because I think this is a... You guys, all three of these, and they look very similar, but they're not. So, this one, the first one is called Grapefruit, and this one is by Laura Mercier. This is like a peachy... Uh, really grapefruit color is exactly a grapefruit color and this color is gorgeous you guys this literally you guys see my cheeks right now this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna look very um, warm it's gonna look very summery and it's gonna look just very happy so I love this color this is great for again darker skin tones I would say mine and darker love these colors this one is exhibit a from NARS so they look very similar, but if you really look at this one, you guys, this one has a little bit more red undertone. Therefore, this is going to look really great on your dark skin women, like dark skin women, very pigmented. Um, I bought these two and I was like, oh my gosh, they're pretty much the same thing, but they're not. This one's more red and more mattifying, and this one is more shimmery and more of a grapefruit, and it has like a gold undertone, so it's going to have a gold finish, which I love blushes like that because it kind of gives like a natural worn in highlight. This is my Fenty Beauty. I love, love this color. This is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Now, this is great for, you can do this as a shadow. You can do this as a blush and also a highlight. I'm so pretty. I want to, yep, there we go. So you can really see this called Devil. And this one is by MAC. So this is one of my favorite blushes they have great blushes mac is just staple for so many things that's what i would say for blushes i want to show you guys a sample and don't worry i'm going to definitely scrape that off and start over but i want to show you guys what that looks like because literally it's just such a beautiful color and it's beautiful on the skin tone and it really just brightens up um women so also we're going to go next on to if you need to use a beauty oil um i used Vanessa myrick's beauty oil and it's great for darker skin tones this was this one is love and light um it's great to mix it with foundations anything like that moisturizers i also do that as well okay so now you guys let's go and go on to shadows and we're going to go on to lips okay so these are the universal shadows or some of the shadows that i bring um the eyeshadow palettes that i bring with me so you want to use like oranges like oranges would be beautiful on the skin because it's going to pop it's, it's going to pop on darker skin tones also red or like that nice burgundy is always going to pop on darker skin tones as well especially when you're going in the corner of the eye burgundies and going to blacks would be beautiful also these dark browns are gorgeous as well so a lot of purples purples look great on darker skin tones and it's because that purple has that like gray undertone like that gray cool undertone so it's going to look really great on the eye um also this is just a little palette that i always carry with me and i always use these oranges and maybe these these copper colors as well when it comes to applying on the eye I actually really like this brown too it's like a um it's like a reddish brown undertone it's one of my favorites it's so gorgeous if people are scared which I could understand a lot of people are scared to do color when it comes to darker skin tones my greatest suggestion to you is before you do any color 
on darker skin tones you want to make sure that you have a base color meaning if you want to use pinks on darker skin tones and you want it to pop out more you need to use either a pink cream either eyeliner or a cream um like the flash palette so you're able to use like a flash palette. I always take my flash palette with me and what I'll do is I'll mix the colors or what I'll do is use um, colored eyeliner so I'll show you guys right now I have these colors so I have like blue purple orange green pink blue yellow purples and I will use this as the base then you can feel free to go in with the color over it okay on to lips I think a lot of times lips is harder for people to really um, grasp and really get right because you know it's you have to use a different technique when it comes to darker skin tones so and also you're able to use color on darker skin tones but when you use color you're going to want to add some dimension when you're using that color okay so I typically don't use the same lip liner I would use a different lip liner a darker shade lip liner like night moth or current those are MAC lip liners and go in that way some red that I recently purchased Literally, and when I say red, they can be burgundies. Um, I also do do burgundies. I love my burgundies. And where is it at? That one's actually a fab. Yeah, this one's great. Okay, so one is Dose of Colors Date Night. So this is a beautiful, beautiful red. This has a really pretty, like, cherry undertone. Gorgeous undertone. Like, gorgeous. Um, this one is called Merlot. So Merlot is more so kind of like a pinky red, which I like. Um, this is great for, I would say, honestly, any skin tone. Um, my shade in, honestly, in even Indian, I'd start that light and go down. This is great. All you need to do is use a darker liner to add some dimension and depth, and you'll be great to go. Also, this Fenty lip liner, she, or I'm sorry, I love this Fenty liquid lip this is um, called Uncensored, so this is a really, really beautiful one. She she did so good on these, y'all. It's such a universal color. I do use this on my chocolate babies, and they love it. They love it. Um, next, last but not least, is going to be Carnivorous. Carnivorous is by MAC. This is a liquid lip as well. This one's more of a burgundy a uh, purple undertone. I love this because it has like that nice brick feel to it. It's very rich. I have some beautiful... Um, browns and we could go to nudes because nudes are always fun oh yes so we can take that one out this one is called cork this is dose of colors oops i'm sorry this is from dose of colors this is cork such a beautiful color. this color y'all ah uh, so pretty luna mori got me on this one she's a killer with she's so good with um nudes so that's a really really pretty one next we have chocolatey wasted so this is beautiful look this is beautiful for like winter or fall. This is a gorgeous color. This is great for editorial, like a 90s look. If your client wants like that 90s uh, look, but you know, want it to be modern, this would be uh, such a killer color. And this one is chocolate wasted. This one is chocolate wasted. Last but not least, we have our black rose. So black rose is, this is, ooh, ooh. This color is so beautiful. It's like a purple blackberry color. Oh, this color is fabulous. I love this color. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on to some nudes. Okay, so Fenty did her thing. Rihanna did her thing. Okay, so this one is called Uncuffed. Okay, and this is Stunna Lip Paint. Uncuffed, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous nude. Literally life changing. So beautiful. I love this nude. As you guys can see, I have these all kind of packed away into their own little case. I love depotting. So, you guys, so I'm going to show you. This is like a really pretty red. This one is 90s Chick. This is KKW Beauty. She killed it with the 90s colors. Like, I got all of them because she just killed it. This is 90s Supermodel. We have 90s Icon, 90s Glam. 90s style so honestly pretty much all of these colors especially the ones where they have more of a brown undertone are going to be great for your darker skin tones 
You see how they have like that brown undertone? This one has a red undertone. This is gorgeous. This is a matte color. I forgot the name. But this is beautiful for darker skin tones as well. And also, this one in the middle is a beautiful one. I know that one, I use that one often. That's a very popular one. That one's, again, 90s icon. But you guys, these are just some simple samples of little things that I use. And these products will take you a long way, even if you just get three for now, two for now, one for now, of the things that I showed you guys. And, you know, do your own mixture. But I hope that this helped you. I hope that you took something out of this. And please comment down below on things that you guys would like to see, um, classes that you guys would like me, or things you guys would like me to teach on i have a lot coming for you guys and again thank you so much for spending your time with me and don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video if it's going to be helpful with anybody um i'm sure you can think of one person this will be helpful for so definitely share this see you guys next time